name is Linda Laz and I teach at White Pine Elementary School in Boise and I am a structured learning classroom teacher for children with autism and I'd like to show you how we use technology. Because they can't talk themselves, they have to have some kind of communication. And if we don't have something like the iPad or the iPod, then we see a lot of behaviors, because behavior is communication. Um, but with the iPod, um, she really has a way of letting us know what she wants and what she needs. She uses it to tell me what she wants to work for. She uses it to tell me what kind of reinforcers she likes, what kind of food reinforcers. She can tell me what she has in her lunch, and she, there are also places where she can say whether her eyes hurt or her tummy hurts, that type of thing. We also use it as far as um, uh, teaching her how to spell because she can't talk then she needs to have some way of letting us know that she is understanding the sounds of the letters and, and the words. She just got it over the summer and fortunately her father is able to put in a lot of uh, information. It, it, she uses the Prolo Quotigo. He puts in all of the pictures and things and he's very good at that and so she just whips through it and, and uses it to tell us how she feels or what she wants and needs. And um, it, I also like to use it as a teaching device too because eventually she really likes to do typing and so eventually she will probably use the typing more than pictures and so it's important for her to um, get that skill. Well, I use what's called a discrete trial method for teaching reading, and so um, kids with autism generally cannot break down words right away um, into phonemes, and so I, I give them whole words, and I show a picture and a word, and I break it down so that they, they can match the word to the picture. I took it a step further, and I used um, her iPod to, iPod to spell it. Um, so that's an extra addition to the system that I use to teach her words. S P O K E spoke. Good. Um, each student has a, a little book with all these kinds of pictures and I, I can say what do you want to work for and then they can pick out the picture but it's so limited um, compared to the iPad or the iPod. Um, there's just so many more pictures that you can put on there easily, whereas these I had to create and, and make and laminate and all that. It's just it's so important to me and to these kids that they have a way to communicate. And these uh, um, things are their voices. And, and I, I just see that when they start to be able to understand why they have this, then it's, it's so great to see the light bulb go on and, and they can do all kinds of things.